It was the moment a day trip to Uluru took a dramatic turn. A tour bus brought to a halt after the driver brawled with a pedestrian. The group was returning from the rock on Monday night when the driver stopped to assist a car pulled over. Tourists told the ABC a family, including a young man who they say appeared intoxicated, were arguing by the car. The bus driver actually opened up the, the door of the bus and got off. The young man boarded the bus, asking for a lift to Alice Springs. The bus driver then became quite abusive to the young fellow who wanted a lift and at the same time he grabbed the young fella they both fell out of the bus. The passengers broke up the fight and offered the injured man a lift to the next town. But as the journey continued, they say the driver showed signs of concussion, driving erratically and speaking aggressively. I did let him know that in any other scenario, should he have presented to a hospital, this would be um, a situation where he was unable to drive. I was just waiting for the bus to crash. Police pulled the bus over, leaving passengers waiting hours for a replacement driver to take them back to Alice Springs. Days on, the group is shaken by the incident, with some vowing never to return. Um, yeah, I think I've seen enough. The tour company Emu Run Experience says the driver stopped because he saw hazard lights flashing and witnessed a violent assault and domestic violence situation being perpetrated on the roadside. It says the driver appropriately assisted to de-escalate the matter and as a result was physically assaulted. But passengers say there was nothing to indicate assault or a domestic violence situation. Some of the tourists wrote to management about the incident. In an email response seen by the ABC, the company apologised, saying an investigation is underway to make sure this doesn't happen again. Charmaine Allison, ABC News, Alice Springs.